off or on, zero or one, are the only states in which the fundamental unit of information in classic computing can exist. It is known as a binary digit or a bit. The bit revolutionized our lives, yet it cannot provide enough practical power for very large computations. Along comes the qubit, which is at the very heart of quantum computing. A qubit can be in two states at the same time, or technically speaking, it can be in a superposition of zero and one, as long as one does not observe it. When observed, it collapses into zero or one. Think of a coin tossed in the air where it is both heads and tails until it lands and shows up as heads or tails. A bit signifies one state and a qubit signifies two states. Two bits, two states. Two qubits, four states. Three bits, three states. Three qubits, eight states. And so on. Qubits provide exponential power to simultaneously explore many paths. Each path across qubits is connected through the quantum property of entanglement. These are wave functions, and thus interference can be designed to eliminate incorrect answers and enhance correct ones. There you have it, quantum computing, simple.